John, that was pretty, uh, pretty impressive stuff out there tonight. Big win for you. What's the, uh, what's the feeling like right now? Oh uh, man, a lot of relief. You know, so just, just glad I was able to go out there and perform. You knew we're the underdog going in. You're, you're, it seems like you're the underdog a lot of times in there. I mean, do you go in there with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder? Or, you know, kind of sick of maybe not getting the respect that you deserve. Man, I don't, I don't really even pay attention. So people tell me I don't really look in, look it up or whatever. I just, I knew I was fighting a tough Russian. And uh, so I was just ready for a war, you know. Pretty much at this level, you gotta. That's that's. We gotta just expect to be able to go in there and fight our heart out for 15 minutes and uh, be hurt and still keep fighting. So that's what I prepare for, no matter who or what the situation is. So. It seemed like. Oh. It seemed like you were pretty emotional afterwards, or overwhelmed. What was going through your head at that point? Man, it's just. I don't know, man. I got a lot of stuff going on in, the, in my personal life that was leading up to this fight, and just you know, being on uh, I was on a three-fight losing streak for a while. I don't know what it was, man, but something hit me in there, and I was just uh, big relief off my shoulders, and just uh, I don't know. Have you ever felt something like that? No. Uh, I mean, I remember when in January in Phoenix, uh, right before the Pettis fight, you were talking. To you end up getting released by the UFC. You don't know if you're going to continue doing this. What has this year been like? I mean, it feels like it's been a roller coaster for you. Yeah, well, I mean, at this point, it's just, you know, it's a rough sport. So it's like, all right, if I'm not going to be able to do it at the highest level anymore, if I was to, you know, get cut or whatnot, and, you know, I don't see why I would put myself through that. You know, I have kids. I got, I'm, I'm focused on my kids. You know, I do this for my kids. I'm trying to buy a house, put them through college. So um, that's my only purpose for doing this. I really don't do this for anything else I, I'm not very good on the microphone I don't really care about taking pictures or being around people um, so I mean at that point that was just what was going through my head I speak my mind sometimes and kind of gets me in trouble do you enjoy the sport at all I do man it's fun it's fun you know and this is I, I was even thinking about it during this camp you know and it's it's like what else would I be doing you know this is kind of this is me but at the same time you know I just I don't know. You want to make it worth it too. We, 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 it can be rough. Was there a backup plan in place if you weren't doing this? No, there's no backup plan. <laughs> I mean, that's two in a row now. Does it feel kind of like a weight's been lifted off your shoulders a little bit? A little bit, man. But this is the first fight that I've been able to actually go into. Like, I, I mean, I don't know if any of you guys have fought or if you talk to any fighter. If you, you take a month, two months out. You come back, your timing's not there. Things are just not falling together. There's so many different aspects to mixed martial arts that have to fall into place and, and be put together. And I feel like you need some consistency. And I haven't been able to do that ever since I, I was out for a year after the Benavidez fight. And I had, to, I had to jump right back into fight camp. I was pretty broke. I just needed a fight and things weren't, you know, coming together during camp. I just put a lot of confidence in my experience and and that I had been doing it for a while, that things would come together during the fight. And they really didn't uh, in that fight. And then, you know, split decision loss. Then two months after that, I completely tore uh, some stuff in my body that put me out. And then I, the Pettis fight was a fight in my hometown. I couldn't turn it down, but I took that fight on two weeks notice without really training at all for it. So I felt like, you know, people kind of, I didn't really get to show myself, and and even for this fight, you know, I only, I, I came back for the my last fight, and I was able to train through that, and and right after that, I was able to be right back in the gym. So this is the first fight that I've actually been able to be in the gym, get my timing back, get some things put together, feeling good. I was I was saying that before this fight that I was excited because this is the first fight that I was going to get to do that in a long time. Do you feel like this is the first time we've actually been able to see who John Moraga is? You know, I don't want to get all cocky like that, but I, I feel like, you know, things felt, I did I did a lot of things right tonight, and things felt good. My vision was clear. Um, so, yeah, in a sense, yeah. John, can you describe what you were thinking in the cage after, like, Cormier is trying to get you excited, and if someone was just turning on the TV, they may have thought that you lost, that you, you didn't even smile. What, what was going through your mind there? What, what was leading to that sort of body language? I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. Uh, so it's I, I was I felt like crying or something. I don't know what it was, but uh, I, I don't know. Did you feel like crying because of the win itself or because everything was coming, all the emotions? Of yeah, the maybe just everything finally is falling into place for me a little bit. And uh, 
I don't know. I just put a lot of pressure on myself for this. I don't know if it was not pressure, but whatever it was, you know, like I said, I had a lot of things going on in my personal life that leading up to this fight, it was like, man, I just either needed to fight and then to, to get out of that fight. I expected a war with this guy. I expected to have to fight tooth and nail and come out broken. And it just, it played out the way it did. So I was just overwhelmed. What's going on back home? <laughs> Uh, just things. Okay, are things yeah. better or do you have to deal with it now? God is good. He's on my side, so I'll be all right. It seemed like there was some will they, won't they with the, the walkout song this week. Can you explain kind of what was going on this week? Oh, man. You know, I, I didn't mean for it to cause that big of a deal or anything, but, um, you know, I didn't think it was that bad. I understand why they, you know, this is a tragic week here in Vegas, and, uh, I definitely have all, all the compassion and respect. I want to, you know, make sure I'm respectful. But, uh, you know, f during the fight week, you know, you're not really focused on everything else that's going around. I was cutting weight. I was, you know, woke up to the issue of finding another song. And I was searching through songs for an hour and a half, and I couldn't find one. And I was just frustrated. So, you know, people on my Twitter uh, have, expressed that they really liked me coming out to that song too so i didn't really think i had that many followers on twitter you know anyway so man i don't know it just kind of blew up and took off and i mean it wasn't that big but uh hopefully no one got too too offended by it i was just what happened that you were able to use it they edited it out a few things okay. yeah a few words that i guess they didn't appreciate and they, they were able to edit it out for me is that something that you just found out about like yesterday or did you know about it before? uh they had told me the day before and then i didn't find another song that night i kind of didn't worry about it and the next morning i was woke up to hurry hurry up you know we need this right now so i was just kind of frustrated and trying to deal with it and i tweeted it to my fans you know hope in it kind of hoping you know get some suggestions but um yeah that's what it was I know you were running there long, but was it cold in the case now? Uh, I didn't notice anything, but uh, we warm up. We we warm up. We go in there pretty sweaty, so.